everyone, and welcome to City Beat. I'm Michelle, your host for the show. Now, I hope you're ready for a whirlwind tour of events around the city. Let's take a look at today's top headlines. First up, we meet an Italian chef whose personality is as distinct as his dishes. Some of the biggest names in entertainment have arrived in Shanghai, and Lifestyle Beat is joining them. And we look at contemporary artists with traditional styles. All this and much more coming up on City Beat. I love Italian food, and I know that I'm not the only one. In fact, there's this one very famous political leader that liked it so much that he hired our next guest as his own personal chef. Now, today we're going to meet this man who has opened this Italian restaurant here in Shanghai. Let's take a look. He's a tyrant in the kitchen. Look in, find me Max immediately. Let's go. Give me the plan right now. What are you doing? Quicker. Sure. Quicker. He never gives in on the details. Salt and pepper, olive oil. He's the chef and owner of the best Italian restaurant in Moscow. He was Gorbachev's favorite so chef. Garlic, no, not slice it, not slice it, just one squeeze it. Cut, I don't want this, I want the regular shape. It's more than enough, it's, it's even, the, the cream is even too much. The work like this, that they should sit you, okay? So, around the table. Being a maestro at cooking, Mr. Marziano Pali expands and adapts traditional Italian cuisine. He advocates light, healthy food without sacrificing even the slightest hint of flavor. Many fish and seafood that I love, many olive oil, not too many spices, not too many marinated things, not too many thick sauces. I always consider that the dish should be tasty and tasty and very easy to eat. So I, I ate when the shrimps are not peeled, so I prefer to have the, 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 the head the tail, but then peel it like this. So I want to, I want bright dishes with a, with food where I can understand exactly the ingredients, the taste of the ingredients, using Mediterranean ingredients. That means uh, tomato, basil, olive oil, cheese, parmesan, seafood, fish. Uh, of course, of course, some pizza. Of course, some pasta. Mr. Pali not only brings us Mediterranean food, he's also brought in style and atmosphere. He wants his people to enjoy every bit of the culture. When I came to Shanghai and I sent my partner here to, to look for the, for, the, uh, for the premise, the input was to find a villa, not very, very downtown. A villa with garden where we could create the atmosphere of a Mediterranean villa. Mr. Pali is strong, energetic and a bit domineering in his work. He establishes a military order in the kitchen. The staff are his soldiers and he's the general. No one can challenge his authority. He's is very very professional and uh, very 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 strong and uh, I think he's a very very good boss very focused and very uh, very aggressive very aggressive strong uh, straight orders straight orders nobody can reply nobody can discuss what I say uh, in terms, even in the quality in the kitchen. If I say this is wrong, nobody can ask why. I will tell this is wrong for this reason. Do it again. This is a this is a way to to set the quality. Otherwise, you what you don't set the quality. Did you boil already those? No. Boil them. No. Mr. Wang, what number is this dish? Um, you forgot already? Yeah. You shouldn't forget. He strongly believes that attention to detail is the key. In his restaurant, there is near scientific precision to ensure that every time they achieve the same high quality. 
He knows. He knows all. He, you know, he even knows exactly each pancake. You know, it's amazing. Me. The perfect cook is the cook that has a strong knowledge about the quality of the products, a strong respect of the product. This is the kind of scallops that I like. Big, juicy, western. This cream is for whipping, it shouldn't be in the kitchen. To arrange the kitchen in millimetric, millimetric space, so that in each moment, if today salt is there and parsley is there, it cannot be that tomorrow parsley will be here, because the cooks should be like computers thinking. Not almost are ready, which are two different things. No, it's not too thick, it's too short. If you make them longer and thinner, they do, they do much better. Anyway, I'm just, it's good. It's good, but next time should be better. If you make one portion in a pan too big, you will not get the same result. If it is too small, you will not get the same result. I don't like it, it's too hot. I'm never afraid to make some mistake in front of the customer. If you are working, you can make a mistake, but the result should be great at the end. Come see Mr. Pally's Villa for yourself. You'll be amused by the owner and delighted with the food. It's the very best the Mediterranean has to offer.